Hi, welcome to Winning God's Way Ministries. Today I'm talking about what it means to win. Does it mean to have a lot of money? Does it mean to have power? Does it mean to have fortune? Does it mean to have fame? You may be surprised if you keep listening because I'm going to share with you exactly what winning God's way means from the Bible. The Apostle Paul tells us, I have fought a good fight. I have finished my course. I have kept the faith. Unless you can say that, you didn't win. Amen. I'll say it again. I have fought a good fight. I have finished my course. I have kept the faith. And now I'm ready to be poured out as a drink offering. That tells us what it means to win. To win means to be able to say when the end is near, I'm ready to be poured out. The Apostle Paul had reached the pinnacle of his life. He was fulfilled. He was satisfied. He looked over his life and he had no regrets. Let me break it down. You know, I fought a good fight. That means to win is to be able to say I operated in faith. You know, I fought the good fight of faith. You know, he fought the good fight of faith. And Kenneth Hagin said, the good fight of faith is the fight that you win. The good fight is the fight that you win. That means Paul overcame by his faith. But without faith, it's impossible to please him. By his faith, he overcame the world. The Bible said, whatever's born of God overcomes the world. And this is the victory that overcomes the world, even our faith. Who is he that overcometh the world, but he that believeth that Jesus is the Son of God? You can overcome anything you are dealing with if you use your faith. Don't let anyone or anything destroy your faith, not even a little bit. The Bible says, but without faith, it's impossible. You know, here's, I'm going to tell you four things real quick that you need to do. One, stay in the word because the word nourishes your faith. Number two, regularly hang out with someone whose faith is stronger than your own. Three, guard your faith, especially on social media, because there are a lot of atheists and unbelievers out here who will cause you to entertain doubt. Number four, remember that faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. So don't listen to junk. Winning means being able to say, I have finished my course. I've completed my assignment. Stop letting people and situations pull you off track. Stay on course. There's a difference between doing 98% of a task and doing 100% of it. Jesus said it this way. I have glorified thee on the earth. I have finished the work which you gave me to do. And now... Give me my reward, Father. Glorify me with the glory that I had before the world was made. In other words, now, Father, give me my reward. Look, it's not easy, but you have got to finish your race. Yes. Whoever you will hand the baton to is waiting for you. Get up, get back in the race, be encouraged and finish strong. You'll be glad you did. Let me continue to tell you what winning means. Winning also means being able to say, I have kept the faith. It doesn't mean anything to say you have kept the faith if you didn't go through anything. The Bible says, if we hold fast to the confidence and rejoicing of hope firm unto the end, you must go through it all to say I won. You must be able to say, I've maintained my beliefs in the face of tremendous trials and tribulations. You know, the apostle said of the Jews, five times I received 40 stripes. Three times I was beaten with rods. Once I was stoned. Three times I suffered shipwreck. A night and a day I was in the deep. I was in the water, man. You know, but he said, there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness, which the Lord will give me on that day. So he's saying that I'm going on from resilient responsibility to a resounding reward. You know, the Bible says in Hebrews 12 and 1, let us run with patience the race that is set before us, looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross. Jesus had his eye on the, on the reward, not on the suffering, but on the joy that was set before him. That's the key. That's the key. And you have to consider him or you'll be wearied and faint in your minds. See, that's the key. Your mind is strong because 
that's where, you know, keep your mind strong because that's where we faint. The mind is the battlefield. When our body is tired, we rest. But when our mind is tired, we tend to give up. Keep your mind on the rewards that scripture promises. You are going to win. Thank you so much for watching. If you were helped, please like and subscribe. I welcome your comments also. Until the next time, remember, it really is a sin not to win.